Hello, I'm at Williams. It's like kind of hard vlogging in public because I'm kind of embarrassed, but here's my little like iced coffee. I got small, and this is like the size of a large if you were to get it in a takeout cup. I came to study here two days ago, and then I'm back again because the vibes are really nice here. I also had their soup two days ago, so I hope I can show you guys today. Victor's supposed to come, he has an exam, and I'm not sure if it's at 12 or 11, I did call him twice. So I hope he's awake and doing it now, because it is 11.51. Good morning! I'm at school, going to the library, and I am a little bit early because the library opens at 11. There's 10 more minutes, so it's not that bad. But I guess I'll show you around. So this is the graduate house. They have a little cafe bar thing that I hope to go to or visit one day. I don't know if they're open during like exams week. It is a Sunday also, which is why no one's on campus, and I'm a little bit out of breath because I had to walk up two flights of stairs. <laughs> I am kind of out of shape. Oh my god, look at this. They're kind of scary though. This is one time when our geese were hissing at us because it was raining and we were holding an umbrella and I guess the umbrella just frightened them because we looked bigger than we were. I'm gonna walk slower so I, the people in front of me don't want to hear me talking to myself. There's a waterloo sign. I took a picture there. Maybe I'll, if I can uh, figure out how to edit it, I'll put it like on the screen. Um, but yeah, look up to the library. It's really big. It's pretty good. I do come here very often. See, there's like already people like waiting outside to go in because we're all trying to study for our exams. I don't know if you can hear the goose. Welcome to the elevator. Um, so I went to the 10th floor, which are basically like where people can talk. 10. I've been at the library for like two hours and I didn't do much study. I've just been so distracted the whole time. I don't know if I'm just really tired from like studying all day because yesterday I was studying for the whole day and like the whole week before that because I had my math exam. Maybe I have caffeine withdrawal. I've also been increasing my caffeine intake to study better or like have more energy to study and today I haven't gone any caffeine in my body. I tried drinking like a bunch of water, but that didn't really help. Good morning, it's a really nice day today. I'm going to my coding help session and I'm a little bit late, so I have to walk a little bit faster. Tomorrow is my programming exam. Welcome to campus. I have to go in there. That's my programming help session for my exam tomorrow. I'm really not prepared, so let's hope I can learn a lot in one day. I finished my help session and I didn't film because I sat next to my friend and I was like too embarrassed to ask her if like she wanted to be in a YouTube video. We got coffee. I think I might have confirmed that I have maybe a little bit of a caffeine addiction because I took a sip of it and then like five minutes later I felt instantly better, just like not tired anymore and more like myself, so. I wanted to go to Dana Porter Library. On the way, there's a W store and I was like, hmm. I've been wanting this stuffy from the W store for a really long time and I got it. It's like the little goose that they have. It's really cute. They also have like those, the big like giant one, but it was a little bit too expensive and this is really cute. Originally I wanted to buy it for Victor, but then after buying it, it's like so cute. I kind of want to just keep it for myself. I don't know. We'll see. It's my little like study buddy now. He's so cute and cuddly and just, I really like him. This is Marcos, my study buddy at Dana Porter's library. With my coffee, the colors all match. At Williams Cafe with my coffee, even though I said I was going to try to not drink coffee. And I did take a time lapse of me working, but when I went to go check the video, I think it didn't record or I misclicked and I forgot to press record. We finished the notes. Um, they don't look that nice, but here they are. My friend's late for her lunch date, so I'm just exploring. 
place I was going is like kind of hidden. I had to walk like inside these like tiny um, townhouses until I found it and I was like, oh, this is like so hidden. No one would have ever found this place unless you like literally live in that um, place with all the houses. I just came back from my friend's um, dorm when she was packing to go back today because she finished her exam. I was like, look at these stuff. And then she gave me these like planners. They were for like 20 to 2021, which is not even this year. I don't know why she has them, but I just took them because I think they look cute. So maybe I could do something with them since she was going to throw them out. I came to print my formula sheet, but they're closed today. I just had breakfast at SLC. They have like exam free yoga classes and some like fitness classes that only you have to pay for. It was really nice. Like the lady that was instructing the class, I loved her voice. It was just so soothing and like so relaxing. And she was so nice and everything and I loved her like little bow. And then I went to the gym and I did some cardio for about less than half an hour. I did some weights and then I did some meditation. So yay. Now we're going to Williams to buy more coffee and study for materials because my exam is in two days. I'm at Williams. It's my favorite place. I got my coffee again. This time I only got one sugar so it tastes more bitter and it lasts longer. We're just doing materials again so it's a fun time. Tastes like banana. Good morning. The weather is really nice today. I just finished my materials exam and then I did a fitness class and now I got juice again because I wanted to give them another shot. It tastes okay. Yeah. I finally figured out what this tastes like. Activity of frozen raspberry yogurt. I was like, this tastes so familiar, like what is it? Good morning! I'm going to spin class, which is like the thing with all the bikes. Yesterday I went to the strength fitness class, and it was just like me and one other dude. And that dude was also at like yoga, so I think like him and I have the same idea about just going to every single free exam fitness class. So maybe we'll see him today, we'll see. Going through tunnels back because it's raining outside and I don't want to walk outside, plus my coat is wet, so everything just feels like soggy water park building just where is it can you see it i can't see it this is the first time i'm going into the smaller library we were walking outside of the water park building because i could not figure out how to get to e3 from there even though it says on the map that you can it just looks so confusing like every time you look up it looks like the stairs go somewhere but then it doesn't really lead to anywhere and i didn't really want to climb stairs and not be able to find where you go so we're walking outside in the rain this is e this is e5 the bridge that goes from e3 connects like right there like the water park building to um e3 but i just kind of figure out so i guess we're walking in the rain this is a local bubble tea place i heard from someone that it was opened by a bunch of waterloo students and it's like a local bubble tea shop i think it's like really cute in there and they sell a lot of stuffed animals they also sell like soaps and stuff handmade things that are also really cute this is my apartment this is the red one and i live on the third floor well i do have to climb up a bit of stairs when i go up it is a workout but i like to think that i got stronger I just finished looking at one of the houses. It is a lot further than I expected. The lighting looks really dim. They do have a balcony, which is nice. Another thing I noticed is that there's a lot of houses surrounding this building, and there are a lot of people walking dogs. So maybe people, students with dogs, just have to live in houses because I know a lot of like apartments and stuff don't allow pets, or at least ones close to Waterloo that I've looked at. The lady that showed me around also started talking about me like right after I left. I think she called the person who was actually renting it out because she was just giving me a tour. And I was like kind of awkward. I was just like standing there outside because I could hear through the walls. I want to show you guys the view because it looks really pretty and they finished building that building over there. Also, it was like really rainy and like bad weather this morning, but now like the sky is like all blue and clear and it's just really nice. Okay, we're on our way to Waterloo Park. I'm just coming here because the weather is so nice and I'm a little bit sad, so I've convinced myself that if I go on a walk, I will feel better. 
this sunset just looks so pretty i just saw the cutest couple they were holding their hands and like swinging their arms and there's a lot of people it just makes me really happy to be here and there's like a bunch of kids playing soccer it's just like so cute we found a bench and like i think it's so pretty just there's this guy and there's some trees there's like kids playing soccer I guess I'll just talk to you guys about how things are going. It feels like I finished my last exam ages ago, even though it was yesterday. Currently, I'm trying to find somewhere to live for the summer because I'm gonna still be here in Waterloo, Kitchener for my co-op job. I am looking at places that are a little bit cheaper because I'd be paying for my own rent. Recently, my friend told me that you can do international studies. I think that's what it's called. I want to look into that and possibly do that. I think that'd be fun. Other thing that's going through my mind, I regret not getting my G2 license. I was just kind of like, I don't know, living in Toronto, you know, everything's so accessible. The public transit is everywhere. It comes so frequent. I just didn't see a reason why I needed to know how to drive. After I moved to Waterloo, compared to Toronto, there's not much to do and it's really boring. The transit is so slow and not convenient. Maybe I had this spontaneous thought living in my brain. It was like, oh, if I had a car right now, I could literally be driving to like Montreal or something. Like I could be driving to Quebec. I could be driving to Ottawa. I could be visiting all these places but no, I'm still stuck in Waterloo the weather's so nice I just want to stay outside forever I should go out more often I, I think that'd be fun